As I'm opening up this patch to show you what's going on, I'll just say the majority of my viewers are not subscribed. If you enjoy my videos, do that. That'd be awesome. Okay. So the space for this main kind of patch here is just a sine wave. That's it. Just go into your basic shapes, get your sine wave, make sure it's the lowest possible frequency you can get out of it. Not the lowest possible, but you know what I mean. Sounds like that, right? And we, we're having this gliding effect, if you listen closely. And that's achieved by first turning the voices to one, so every new note re-triggers the sound, no chords. And also turning up this glide, turning up always glide, or else it won't glide when, unless they're overlapping. And also turning on legato, so it doesn't have any really clicking when new notes hit. It just slides all groovy-like. Like it's just one long note being pitch bent. Awesome. So that's the base for our sound. And the magic happens if you drag in an Ableton saturator. This is the secret sauce in Of the Trees and so much freeform bass stuff. Mess with that drive. Mess with that bass. Get crazy results. But what we want is the sinoid fold setting. Because we have a few options and sinoid fold gives you those clean harmonics. What do you know? I pretty much got it, got it on. Let's compare it with this one. Slightly different. You see, but just messing with the bass and drive until you get a nice harmonic out of it that you like. It's just awesome. Another thing you can do with it that I didn't is you can mess with the depth. It changes the tone a bit. And when you mess with the depth, you can mess with this frequency knob. Also width doesn't do a whole lot, but okay. Also for this bass to make it well wider, I use infected mushroom wider. It's free. I'll put the link in the description for you. And just turn that up to 100% and it sounds lovely. <clears throat> now for this bottom layer. So this is the same initial patch, just the pitch, I mean the glidey sine wave with another saturator, this time on analog clip, and just crank that drive. I also crank the depth, change the tone in a nice way, I think. And the next thing is erosion for that lovely layer of white noise. You can just put it like this and like drag it to where you like it, or I just like the hiss preset. And together. And this up here is just a vocal sample, low passed and reverbed. You know the deal. Okay. And this little fill right here. Another sine wave, same exact sine wave. I turned it on wave shaper mode and automated automated excuse me, automated the drive, the bass, not the bass, but the curve. That gives you that nice movement. Okay. Now for the next kind of whistle lead. So this has no real post-processing. All the magic happens within Vital. You can use really any, you can use any additive synth for this type of sound or pretty much most synths. So first we just have one sine wave going real high up. I just turned it up a few octaves. But what you need to ha what you need to do is turn it down, turn a second one on, and then turn that down 10 semitones. And that gives it that second note. course threw on some reverb to make it lush and awesome now for this bass here this is just a sine wave not clipping anymore not wide but just has some white noise on it okay so that was some spanish moss kind of basses right now right here is um what whatever the song i think everglade something i don't know 
I'll, I'll put it in the description. So this uses kind of similar techniques in a way, except a little different. This is all sine wave manipulation. So right here, it is being manipulated with first with some volume automation. Just drag this on here, dragged it down, dragged it up. So we get the wub and also turn the frequency to quarter. Also lower the release all the way. Okay. And then enabled some FM here, FM oscillator two. Turn on our second oscillator, turn down the level and turn up our pitch by 12 by holding shift and dragging up. I also turn down the randomization on both these and pretty much most of the patches because you don't want it triggering in a different position and giving you a completely different sound. Yeah, and that's that. This auto pan's doing nothing. Wider once again to make it wider. Utility with the bass on mono to make the sub bass mono. And some white noise once again with erosion. Also EQ'd up this this heart right here because I thought it sounded good. You can really go crazy with the EQ on these. Just have a fun time with it. Okay. This fast wobble is achieved through similar technique. So right here, just your basic um, saw wave with a low pass filter wobbling, giving it that wobble. But what really brings it out is this harmonic series. So go under factory, harmonic series, and I just drag the frame all the way up. You can get a lot of cool basses out of this. But I just turned it all the way up because that's what he used in the track. And that also being routed through the filter gives it that awesome wobble. Make sure it's highlighted here. You gotta click that so it goes through the filter. It's awesome stuff, cool, great. <clears throat> Now this more screechy bass is just like our first patch for this section of it, in that it's FM. Don't know why that's not all the way down, but so enable our FM, and for this, instead of a sine wave, we're using a triangle wave and turning it up way more. And of course, having the filter one on oscillator one wobbling with this LFO give it some more wobbly movement. OTT to bring it out and reverb to space it out. Also wider to well make it wider and bass mono utility to make the bass mono. Might as well click quickly, quickly, yes quickly go over this kind of lead sound. All this is is a plucky saw wave. Nope, not a saw wave, I lied. Saw wave is too pointy. Triangle wave is what we want. With the plucky envelope, release, decay, sustain down. And under effects, multiband compression and the delay. I turned it to seconds mode. Dragged it to a nice point and also made it stereo. <laughs> So for of the trees stuff, what the takeaway is use sine waves. You know, process them with FM, with saturation, with um what is it? Just layering with other sine waves, use additive synthesis too. That's on the table. And there's plenty of different options there. Once you hear these kind of bases, you'll find it's in so much of of the trees stuff and generally in so much of freeform bass stuff. Really, it's all just different parameters on saturators. That's, there you go. That's freeform bass for you. Just different saturators. That's the secret. All right. But jokes aside, hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Please do. That would help me out a lot. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, leave a comment. And if you want to see more of this, subscribe. And also hit that bell icon so you get notified whenever I post something new. Which is every day, by the way, every single day. All right. This was Bunting. Thanks for tuning in and peace out.